Now we look at the van question. What if it's something more complicated? This one, the question is, you have a stationary van. Stationary? Remember the word stationary? Just now we said the ruler is moving. So there is a net torque. Now the van is not... <laughs> Thankfully the van is not rotating. So it's stationary. Let me highlight that for you. What is the horizontal distance of the van's center of gravity? So we're trying to find where is the center of gravity from the front of the van. So from the front. Where is the center of gravity? Somewhere here? I'm guessing it's somewhere there. We don't know for sure. Wait. But where is it? Pause the video, try this out. And then come back. And we'll take a look how you can solve or find where the center of gravity is. So, first things first, if you feel a bit confused, like, oh my goodness, this is not a rod. Miss Why suddenly got a van on, how to think about it? You could model this um, van as a rod. Oh, <laughs> my lines are not straight. <laughs> so this rod has the weight somewhere near the middle, maybe, somewhere at the side, I don't know. Weight, and then you have the normal forces at the tyre, 9,000. 16,000 newton. Well, we need to think of torques, like we mentioned earlier. But talk about what? Where's the pivot? You choose the pivot. Okay? You can choose the pivot anywhere along the whole rod. But for convenience sake, I'm going to choose the pivot at the front of the van. Why is that? If I choose this as my pivot, then I'm solving talks about that pivot, which means later I can just find the distance between the center of gravity and the pivot, which is what I'm trying to looking for. Okay, we're trying to find the center of gravity from the front of the van. So choosing the pivot at the tip is convenient. You can choose it elsewhere and solve it. You just have to do extra work at the end. Okay, wow, where is my cursor? There it is. Wait. So the weight is the center of gravity that we're trying to find. Let's try it out. So stationary means no net torque, thankfully. Otherwise, you'll be like those smart rabbits, those bikers. They pull up the front wheel and then they drive. So no net, no net torque. Okay, so we do the same thing. We have clockwise torque plus the anti-clockwise torque. You need to choose which one is negative, which one is positive. Hmm, so weight is going to cause a clockwise torque. Oh, I shouldn't write it like that. I thought you think it's an extra force. Weight is going to cause a clockwise torque. And all the normal force will cause an anti-clockwise torque. Let's say this is positive. These are negative. So clockwise torque, we have the weight of the van. Do we know the weight of the van? We don't. Can we find it? Yes, I think we can. We have to use the idea of no net force. What does no net force mean? Your van is not floating in the air. It's not sinking through the ground. So it means somehow your weight is balanced with your two normal reaction forces, R1, R2. Well, I didn't draw the arrows to scale. Sorry about that. <laughs> if R1 and R2 is that long, then your weight should be doubly as long. Okay, so your weight, yes, you can find it. Weight is actually, uh, it's right here. Weight is 16,000 plus 9,000 Newton. Because the up equals down. Because your band is stationary and not floating or sinking. So let me do a quick calculation. 16,000 plus 9,000. 25 kilonewton. Woo! We got the weight. Scare you for a moment. Scare me. Okay. So 25,000 times... Uh, what's the distance? We don't know. We're trying to find that. Okay. D. D. Plus... Oh, I say... The other one's all going to be minus... So minus 
a sixteen thousand times. Let's put the times in the bracket. How far is that sixteen thousand reaction force from the front of the van? Zero point six meters. Okay. Minus the other thing that's going to push it clockwise is the nine thousand newton reaction force. How far is it away? Fifteen plus. So, sorry, sorry, 1.5 meter plus 0 0.6 meter. So that's 2.1 meters. Equals to zero. By the way, if you rearrange this whole equation, you're going to get something like clockwise torque equals to anti-clockwise. Wait a second. Clockwise torque equals to anti-clockwise. That's correct, torque. That's basically, you can rearrange it to that. It's a shortcut if you want to skip the first few steps here. But I write it out all for you to see so you can make sure. Okay, so you rearrange, 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 find D. Okay, let's go. So 16,000 times 0 0.6, 9,000 times 2.1, divide by 25,000, 1.14. So then you can say that ah this weight force which is the center of gravity of the van has to be 1.14 meters away from the front of the van and that's how you can find the center of gravity for this van.